over to the tarp where Holden is, and he like rips it off of him, and he says, "I don't know where you're from, but you gotta get used to this place." Let's go. And he just starts walking towards the city. My goodness, you would really hate Om Saran. What do you think? I'm gonna I'm just here. stand, and I'm just gonna like, just I'm just gonna start hugging my the, the quarter staff, just like as I walk, just like the just new shifting. fiery quarter staff. Um, yeah. another thing that's making you rather uncomfortable about this is some of you are actually having issues with um as you begin walking the heat. It is extremely hot. It's in the low. If you had a thermometer, it would be like in the low hundreds, like hundred and five. So is that a problem for me? That is... It's not so much of an issue for anyone except for... Um... But, but, having issues with names for a second. I feel like Ozzy. Uh, Holden. Yes. Oh, I'm... Really? This... Oh. Hula Nuka is oh. cold as fuck. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it is. So, I'm going to need you to give me a constitution save. Oh, oh that's... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, a, a, con a constitution save? Actually, a um... Constitution save? Yeah. And I also need a pay, uh, fine because you've been in Agtha for quite some time. Yeah, and I'm, like, playing with the sand and stuff because I've never seen it. Never yeah. Seen so, I need I'm you to all be constitution over. Uh, you both are just... That's a good one. It's hot, everyone's sweating, but you travel through just fine. As you approach, you see this massive tarp that makes up the bridge, <coughs> and looking up at it, um, Edward, you already knew this, but the ground that makes up this place is just entirely cloth. The buildings, any sort of structure, that is cloth. Um, it's called the city of cloth for a reason. Yep. The entire thing slowly rises and falls as you walk up to the bridge of it. Uh, there are several coats going in and out. There are soldiers there uh, checking d different people's uh, luggage. Any sort of contraband they might be carrying is quickly gone and um, the pe people are arrested. There's total of two of them in about the five minutes that you are walking up that you see get arrested. Nice. Okay, I Do I see what kind of stuff room. they're confiscating or arresting people for? Uh, yeah, so... Um... Actually, give me an investigation. Twelve. Right. I'm gonna say right, it's not too hard. Oh, never mind. It's not too hard to see as it is broad daylight. So, looking at it, it seems to mostly be weapons. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh. Well, cool. I gotta, I'm fine. Is a dagger and quarterstaff okay? Yeah. Um, you... <laughs> I can pass my quarterstaff as a walking stick. Um, Edward, you do know that if you were to check in your weapons whenever you go in, instead of trying to hide them, then they'll take them and they'll hold on to them for you until you go to leave. Okay, I can just do that. Know. So I'm guessing yeah, Riker is at the head of the pack? Is that... And yeah, quarter staffs, by the way, quarter staffs are not considered weapons as they are, again, just really big sticks, pretty much, that people oh, use okay. for walking. Cool. What about the lantern? The lantern is not Again, that's just a lantern. Yeah, that is the lantern. Okay. So... What about my flute? <laughs> Music is the most oh, dangerous okay. weapon of all. Kill me, Mom! <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm kidding. Um, so, like, Riker, I guess, approaches the first... Is that what you said it was? Uh, it's like basically a bit of a line. Those about five KO vans that seem to be going through to get checked, and then there's another one that's coming out again, being checked, and then there are a few guards here and there that seem to just be checking the people that aren't on these massive KO vans or anything. Okay, so I mean, I guess I walk up to one of the guards. I'll go with him. And I, uh, I say, hello there. I've never, I've never been to his land. My name's Riker, and I hold out my hand. He looks at your hand. I'm gonna have to check you if you plan on entering the city. What exactly are we checking for? I've never been to this land, so I don't know any kind of laws that you have against contraband. And he like, like, holds a questioning eye to him, like. 
weapons, things of powerful magic, anything that could be cool. really used to <clears throat> upset the clans. Can we get our weapons back later? It is a tough road out there. Yes, if you check your weapons in, then you can come back and get them. That is, if they're not stolen. Alright, well, uh, he pulls out a hand, crossbow, dagger. Um, he, he, like, holds up his shield and, like, questioningly, like, like holds it out, and does he, like, take the shield? Uh, you can keep that, that's fine. And he, he pulls out his hand axe, and he's, he's doing it, like, very, very, uh, like... <laughs> so just mark down he, like, which things you have given them. And then I, uh, um, I say, uh, do I get a chit? Or tag, or... What's your name again? Riker. He, um, goes over to you. Off on the side of this, there's several hundred chests that are in this little shack, almost. That's, there's about full guards just standing by on it. He walks into up to one of the chests, throws the stuff in, and he says Raikou, and you see a little engraving appear upon the chest that says Raikou. Abba Forth. Interesting. <laughs> so, um, now what, does he, like, proceed to, like, then check me again, or? Um, as you, after you hand him his stuff, he is going to check you again. Let's see what you have on you real quick. How do you want me to mark these down? Uh, just make a little note that, um, of what's been taken. Okay, so, um, so yeah, oh, hand, my hand axe, way. dagger, cro hand crossbow. Do, does he take the bolts, too? Uh, he would take the bolts. I threw down my basket of flowers, quote. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I, was... Just, I need to hide my signet ring. They're not inspecting. So he does full on like body pat you down. Okay. And he briefly stops and looks at your holy symbol, shrugs and leaves it alone. And it then looks at like in the a bag, right, it's not even on me. It's in, in like my bag. Yeah, he's like actually checking out everything you have. Oh, okay. Yeah. TSA style. <laughs> yeah. Um, he then looks at the wax crayons and says, Oh, got some kids? No, but uh, it's for another purpose. Uh, what purpose they're, is that? They're actually uh, sort of magical. They, uh, they can draw things, and they're very pretty. I'm going to have to take so them. So I'm hoping... I'm hoping to sell them to a magical trader in town. Hmm. They're not weapons of any kind, I promise. Alright, well... I'm gonna have to seal them up, then. Seal them? What? Yeah. I'm gonna have to seal them so that way they can't be used until a trader takes the seal off. Okay. Hmm. He reaches into his pack and he pulls out a slip of paper. Um, it has several different arcane symbols inscribed upon this. Edward, you've heard about this kind of magic, but it's kind of weird to see how many of this this person has, and the fact that you've never really gone a good look at this stuff. Um, he takes the crayons and just wraps them all, um, in the seal. And as it happens, there's a brief little glow, and then nothing. So they're they're sealed, so they can't be touched, right? Yep. All right, that's five gold poo seal. Five gold. Five gold. Do I get that back when I return the seal? No. No. Trade tax. The, these items are barely worth that as it is. That's the tax for magic. I don't think he cares. Bringing so no. Bringing you out magic. Five gold he per item. He looks him in the eye and he says, Alright, five gold. And he hands him five gold. 
Hmm. He did wrap them all up in a bundle, so it wouldn't be. How do they? And he, he he looks at him and how, how do you how did he get the seal off? A merchant will do that for you if you sell it to them. A merchant. Yes. Okay. Quick question. Um, can I hide my signet ring in like my jar of ink? That's yes. so good, dude. That's yes, really good. Yes, you can. Okay, then I'm gonna do are that. You... I'm not a... So, how far away from these guards are you when you do this? No, pretty much like it's by. Is anyone behind me? I mean, Riker would have walked ahead of everybody. He's probably at least a hundred feet ahead of everybody. I imagine like I'd be behind a couple people and pretty much like. Hmm. Well, because I mentioned I'd use my mage hand to, you know, as I like have my hands at my side and just like have inspecting things. And when I pull up my jar of ink, just like try and use my mage hand to try and sneak it in there while I'm behind other people. I'm going to say it's not going to be hoed because there's nobody that's particularly paying attention to you. But it's still possible for things to go horribly wrong, so I want you to roll the sleight of hand check with advantage. Oh god, it's this is so stressful. It's not going to be too hard, but it's still got to be rolled. <clears throat> Would it be possible for me to like to leave and then come back, or that'd probably be suspicious, wouldn't it? Yeah, uh-huh. you get the sense that that would be. Oh god. What else would you do? Either you do this or you don't. Oh thank god. All right, you um, as you're looking through your things, um, you flick your wrist real quick. A mage hand appears and quickly grabs your ring, opens up the jar, and puts it in. And closes it. The ring of mind shielding? Oh, no, second. No, so what, my, the ring of mind shielding is already invisible. They're not going to see that. Yeah. I assume I, t- I tuned with it, right? Yeah, um... The only thing that wouldn't have been able to attune... That would have needed attunement would be the ring of stars, because that has to be attuned at night. The star shoot, yeah. Yeah, they're probably gonna have to. You're probably gonna have to give that over. Hmm. It's a ring. Just don't tell him it's magical. So, yeah, he didn't take any of my other magic stuff. So. Well, they guessed that the crayons were just crayons. They didn't know that. Well, they and were I, you I told them I they were magic. selling it. I said I was selling them though. So that's why he, he sealed them. That's why. He, that's why. He could have just said, hey, "Yeah, whatever," and then that would have been the end. I don't have kids. And... Though. Riker doesn't lie. He does. Grab you, still Mew. Oh, he does? Yeah. Hey. Okay, what is he Before saying? I forget, can I bring this up quick? Cause I got a... Okay. I wanted okay. to hit the tuning fork on the uh, the exit, but I forgot to bring it up when we got to the exit. Oh, I assumed you did. That's fine. Okay, just, just, I fine. forgot to bring it back up again. Go ahead. Any particular reason you have this? The mirror? Yeah. Well, look at me. And he like he like looks up and down himself. And he says, "I gotta make sure I look good." He puts it back in without a word. <laughs> I mean, he's got seventeen <laughs> charisma, so I'm guessing the guy. Did you hand over the quibble, by the way? Uh, no, I didn't think it would be taken or whatever. Cause it's not a weapon; it's a tool. So, so Riker literally doesn't think it's a, worth a weapon as a weapon. So he didn't even think about it. Did he take it, or...? I'm gonna have to take this, and, uh... Gonna have to come with me. The crowbar? Yes. Oh, okay, you can take that. Uh, you want me to come with you? It's a little bit of a fine for not fully showing the items that... we requested. This is very much used as a weapon, very commonly. Oh, well, I do apologize, sir. I didn't know that that could be used as a weapon. I I mean, do you have a list of things that could be used as weapons? I, what if somebody makes their own weapon? How do you know it's a weapon? I apologize. I mean, you can keep it if you want to. I, I have no use for it. I mean, it's just a tool, really. You Maybe you owe me a space and check on that. Yeah. Can we not go in this city? We need I don't to go like in the- He puts it in the box back. with the rest of them. All right, you're good to awesome. go. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, sir. Now, or die in a desert. 
So I look at I look at the I look at the guard. I say, now my friends, can I? You, do you mind if I walk back to my friends back there and uh, tell them what is acceptable and not acceptable so they don't get in trouble like I almost did? I'll keep a close eye on you to see if you try to smuggle anything past, or I'm probably gonna check you again whenever you come back through. So just I just like this. turn around. I just like turn around and I, I like motion them forward and I say like. You know, hey, this guy uses a weapon, and that uses a weapon. That is a weapon. You're gonna have to turn that in. And I just tell everybody what's a weapon, and then I just like turn back around and I just say, "May I step through?" Wait, why are we going into the city anyway? We He's need to go in here. Just... It's the only city in like miles. In what are you talking desert. about? Yeah. Oh shit! It's gotta get stole. <laughs> it's well, right. fine. Oh, so Raikou has successfully went through. Who wants to go next? I will. I have a question. Yes. Is it daytime? It is. As you're looking around, it is dawn. It's dawn. Um, are there? Is like there's a wall to the city, right? Not quite so much. It's more of like the topes kind of like come up at a few places, and the, you can what tell that they're like the backs of buildings. What color is the tarp? Uh, they are all tan. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. So Ozzy already just wants to burn the city. Also, Ozzy has like hair on his arms because he's like yep. right now. So I will go Wait. first next, if that is okay right. with everyone. I see. If I knew this was gonna happen, I would have disguised self myself. Uh, while he's That's getting awesome. checked, I want to try to uh, sleight of hand hide my uh, my uh, crayon. Okay, where were you going to hide them on you? Oh, up my butt, butt crack. Eat them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, where the fuck could I hide them? Uh, He's gonna put them... Hide them in Seth. Or you yeah, can just, like, just pay the five gold, man. Just avoid the hassle. Just pay I'm them. not paying them five gold. I'd rather... I'd rather not. You'd rather get the shit being out of you? He puts it in his pants so that it looks like his dick. <laughs> it probably passed... It probably passed, though. That's the funny part. Exactly. <laughs> if I, uh... Well, no, I don't think I could, um... But they're patting you down, too. Give them to Steph or anything. Is there any actually, kind of, that's like... that's actually a good little... idea. Stick them in Steph. So. Yeah, is there any, like, little opening in Steph's, like, where he folds up that I could stick them? Um, yeah, just go ahead and give me a sleight of hand if you're gonna try to hide them in him. Before we approach the gate, could I have disguised self myself while I was, like, looking from afar? <laughs> Nope, you'd have to have done that beforehand. I mean, yeah, I'm like right behind Ozzy. Ozzy, Ozzy, just pass it off his arm hair. No, that's not what I'm worried about. Oh, the other. Okay. Oh yeah, the other one. Seth also already had this guy's self put on him to look like me. Oh wait, can I just leave? Yeah, we can. Can I just like go back to where we came from, and then when I'm out of eyesight, then disguise myself? Why your teeth? You're no. in the desert. How can you hide? Like they're still gonna see you out there. Do you have like, legs? I can just go behind like a building. There aren't any. Can, so outside the of the building, you're looking around. All you see is that shack that they're using for the storage, and then no other buildings in sight, other than what's the city. Tarp. Wait a minute. Okay, here's an idea. Would can I? Who knew about this again, Edward? Edward? Yeah? Is there a guild within the city? Uh, yeah. Mm. Can I... <laughs> can you tell me where it is? Uh, that would be... The... Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, the rise is about 55 to 500 feet up, so... What? Yeah, you're probably gonna have to go through. Wait, what? The place what? is miles high. The guild? Yeah, the guild houses, it's in the rise. Where we're entering is the swells. Yeah, but so you know where it is? Yeah. Okay, and where is it? Point I told it you. Me. Okay, I point to where it is. I point in the general direction of the rise. Yep. As you point up to the city, again, it's like, um, as you're looking, better look at it, it looks like it's in layers... Four of them to be precise, however, there's hopes that connect all of them. It's kind of a little bit hard to tell where one ends and another one begins. But okay, can I write a letter on one of my pieces of paper? 
um, and attach the seal of my guild to it and request that one of my guild members help me into the city. <laughs> Why are you afraid? I don't want my you... ring to be taken! It's a ring. If you literally tell them it is a ring, just a I know, but then ring. also, I look slightly weird. I think they well, took see, the pigments because they were sealed, told them. because they were trade Aussie. goods. So they got trade money, tax. I know, but also I look weird. But Ozzy, look at how I look. I am wearing a mesh t-shirt, and I have a mask on, and I have freak bright red hair with a blue streak. I look like a freak as well. <laughs> Should I just go through? It'll we be all kind of look like freaks, man. I we all, home. all of us look like freaks. So, okay. Uh, um, are you sending the dove or not? Should I? Or should I not? I probably that should. one's on you, I'm just saying. They I'd might. recommend you would. You recommend I don't? I recommend you do. I do? Well, that's what I was thinking. I do send the dove. Alright, so... You... Take a piece of paper, throw it up into the air. A dove slowly foams as the paper folds, and it begins flapping off into the distance. The seal of the Bodes College is upon its back. Hmm. And, while that's all going on, Holden, what all do yeah. you hand over? Uh, I literally only have one thing in my inventory that could be considered contraband, and that is my club. Alright, so, um, you hand him his, your club. What's your name? Mm -hmm. That's about it. What's your name? Oh, uh, the Cross. Joffrey. Cross. Alright. Tinkle Toes. He throws it into another, uh, chest and says Cross. It appears upon it. Alright. He begins <laughs> patting you down. I want one of those chests. Alright, good to go. Sweet. I guess I'll go next. Alright. What all do you hand over? I know I want the dagger and uh, the two bear traps I got. Oh my god, you still have those. <laughs> <laughs> like, I suppose it'd be possible I could sell oh, these. Yeah. No, I want to know. You could probably sell them. I mean, just tell them it's trade goods. Five gold tax. Uh, well, Edward, I mean, I'm going to say because it. you're on that 20. The bear traps are fine, because that's mostly used as a hunting thing. Yeah, you're not going to kill somebody with a bear trap. <laughs> I Unless mean, I there was them. that one legendary fighter that, like, had bear traps on his hands oh. that he just punched people with, but, like, that's the oh, only person what? that's ever used them as a weapon. Yeah, like, Aussie. I mean, Seth is going to do. I guess I'd probably ask, like, uh, you got any special things about mages? I'm gonna have to take your focus. Alright, and I give him my arcane focus. Oh god, you give him your arcane focus? I'm gonna have to. Riker did. <laughs> he did not. Someone call me? Alright, so you hand him your focus, and what else? Focus well, dagger. I can. Oh, sorry. I mean, he didn't yes, say so. anything about focuses, so. He did not. I like. I'm just looking through, like, besides my dagger, I don't see anything else that's really could possibly used offensively. Oh. Got any magic oh, on you? You okay? Um, uh, I got an. I got a little orb that, uh, that glows, and I pull out the one orb I got. The drift globe. You want me to seal it, or do you want me to put it away? I mean, it literally just glows. It really can't do anything besides that. Man, I had somebody year or two back try to say that all this horn did was shoot out little tiny fireworks that didn't even go more than five feet, demonstrated it for us and everything, toned out, it actually shot out a whole bunch of arrows, but he did some magic shit to disguise it as something else. <laughs> okay, fair enough, and I'll... I'll, I'll <laughs> right. 
Oh my so, god. You, um, you paid the five gold to have it sealed? Yeah. Alright. Uh, real quick, hearing that, I'm gonna... Can I ask him if he... If that... If any of the identities match the ones that I'm looking for? Uh... The ones you're looking for... Any of them, at this point. If the in your background those are people. If that's what you're talking about. He's also looking for items now. Well actually no, I'm just specifically looking for the for the Parade of Killers. And I that I think that might have been one of them. Uh, maybe. Alright, I think that's just about it. It's like alright, I think that's all of the weapons I could possibly have. Otherwise, I'll just say. Alright, he looks you over. He wouldn't know the arcane, uh, the arcane Vortex, so he looks past that. Arcane Vortex? And... No, nothing? Okay. <laughs> Alright, good to and go. It's never mentioned again. <laughs> and I moved through. Alright. I'm also, also internally trying not to like have a fucking panic attack. Okay, who's next? Do I see a guild member? Uh, Rushing down for me? You can imagine it takes a little bit, maybe another person or two. It's a big fucking city. If somebody... <laughs> Go ahead, guys, I'll wait here. Who has not gone through yet? I know it's me, Aussie, and fine. And Is somebody else not gone through? No, I think everyone else has. Yep. I'll catch up with you guys. So literally, Aussie, you have to go in last. You can Bye. go in, go in, fine. I'm just gonna fix right. my shoelace. Or so... use a shoelace. Ma'am, are you aware that you're not wearing practically any clothes? She no, no, she does because oh, I gave clothes. her I gave her clothes when she first got. Oh, the, okay. Um, Sorry. Yeah, I am wearing clothes like, now. Finally. A month ago. <laughs> okay. Um, can I seal up my scimitar because I want to sell it? <laughs> what about the if like you'd forty like bows? To sell it. <laughs> gonna have to put it in one of these. It costs a little bit extra, though. I'll just put it in the chest. I give him my scimitar and my daggers and <laughs> my crowbar and hammer and stakes. <laughs> And uh, you've just been carrying steaks with you. We could have been eating like kings. Wooden steaks. Oh. Uh, As I say, if you were holding steaks on us, we were in that cave. <laughs> I was holding some sort of meat. Um. Are you going through your bag while you're doing all this? Yes, ma'am. Because I'm pulling out just like all of this junk. Um. As you're going through, he says, "Oh, so you want to sell that? Sell what?" Your scimitar. I only have ten gold. Give me one of those. He points to your mushrooms. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> he can have one of my mushrooms. That's fine. All right. You he go, waves sir. you through without checking you. Nice. Fine. I, I wish I had a mushroom. <laughs> fine. I will have a quick question about those mushrooms. They're fine. No, no can I find I, some of those? I need to ask, are they poisonous mushrooms? Uh, depends or are they the on... Trippy, or are they the trippy mushrooms? I mean, if you took too many... Oh you god, what have you um, done to this poor guard? So... He hated himself. Just want to say real quick, Edward, I'm sure that you read about that at this point, but I just want to kind of like reinforce this, that you definitely know that this is the place you go if you want drugs. Yeah, I, should, I think I'd probably mention the others, like, yes! well, you could probably probably with drugs if you got it. Alright, so, uh, oh, I guess it's just me here. then. So I literally have all of my things. Yep. Cool. Nice. We probably should just let you go first, but too late. <laughs> just toss us the, the bribe. The there you go. The I, Can I pull uh, out a piece of paper, cut it into tiny squares, and say, just write THC on it. Everything's <laughs> <laughs> gonna fall through. <laughs> 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 
Give me a deception. Oh, uh, actually, hold on. I'm gonna hold off on the check. Um, do you <laughs> go to? <laughs> what What do you do with these? Um, I just like put them in my bag. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's got another paper. Paper can be infused with drugs. Please. Yeah, at this point, I am definitely distancing myself from Ozzy. <laughs> it's right. probably in your best interest. So, um, who goes next? Uh, I'll go next. It's I'm just, fun. like, sitting here on the other side, like, watching everyone, because I'm nervous about Ozzy. Okay. <laughs> just me and Ozzy. He's just gonna, like, <laughs> cross the bridge, or whatever, drop all these little bits of paper and say, OH NO, MY HEART! Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I would like to say I am one, like I am a good distance away. Like I'm separating myself from the group. Meanwhile, <laughs> uh, hold kind of eyeing those mushrooms. Klaus, yes, you're teaching us that bribes are better than uh, being truthful. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good for this game. The world. Okay, yes. so Alton, what do you hand over? Uh, the spear, the bow, the 40 arrows, and I think that's all I've got. Alright, just to make a note that you hand those over, he pats you down bow, a little bit, arrows. and yeah. that is all you had, so. So, I'm good to go? Uh, what did you hide in Seth, by the way? The crayon. Yeah. Uh, I am going to, what did you roll for your... Check on that. 17? 17. Yeah, that beats his passive, so... He does not find that. Does he check Seth, though? He does check Seth, but he does not find them. But does he... Does he notice that he's actually a puppet? Uh, yes, because he does have, like, the whole... He has spots eyes. for, like, the strings and everything, and he has no, the he's, eyes. he's got disguised self put on him to look like Alton. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I it's forgot about that. Awesome. It's weird to look. So he pats him down and has a weird look. Does he do anything about it? Uh. So. Why do you feel like wood? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> He's, He's uh, hiding something from me, sir. Or is that right, wood sorry? In the pocket? Pocket? Everyone was talking at once. Someone seized out. He's a... He's a problem. I have to, like, you know, help him out. He's, he's a... Shit. He's a... He's... Just, look, just ignore it. I don't know. <laughs> just ignore Convincing. It. His skin feels like wood. Yeah, we just, uh... We just had a weird kind of encounter trying to get here. Uh, that's why we're here. We need can to. I, we need to get that fixed. Give me a deception I, check. Um, I was actually going to say if I could pitch oh. in and try to help him out of that one. What are you going to say to try to help him out? What? I was going to tell him that. Uh, I don't need one... your help. Okay. 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 Never mind. Oh, I see. Sorry <laughs> to hear about that. Never mind. Yeah. I think a buddy of mine, uh, a while back, he had the same issue. Um, <laughs> In fact, I think I might have that issue, too. He, he yeah. can't even speak anymore, it's so bad. Yeah, he's, he's become a mute. Oh god, that's pretty bad. Go ahead. Alright, thank you so much. And, uh... The, my friend back there also uh, had a little bit of a problem with it. Uh, and I motioned to Aussie. And we're here to help cure him a little uh, as well. Would you mind uh, bringing him through? Uh, I'll still have to check him. That's fine. You can check him. Yeah, it's just you know, at, like I said, the little curse uh, did change him, and we're trying to cure him. Huh. All right. Oh, I see. So go ahead and go on through. He waves you through. Yeah. Right. Me and Seth go on through. And, I'll see, as you begin to step up, there's actually a very flamboyantly dressed person with a massive, like, those clown collars. 
and they have this pink hail that just goes up into a massive swirl. They are an elven in form, and they kind of like almost dance down the bridge towards you. Aussie, is that you? Oh my dear! <laughs> Dear God, there's two. Do I know his name? <laughs> no. Um, Aussie, oh your reputation God. precedes you. Oh my gosh, I've been oh, told so I'm much so about you. I'm so happy to be here in this video cloth. Oh, my ears. Come, bleed. come, we have to talk. He grabs your arm and begins walking you through. Oh, do you, I turn to the guy, do you mind? It's been such a long time since we've had conversation together. Oh, dear God, please go. Oh, it's so fantastic here! Oh, no! I love this city so much! Oh, it's fantastic! <laughs> you I see, if you play up with other eyes, so up in the heavens, they but pay so much! It's... it's I, fabulous! Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> yes. Let me tell you, it's going to be so fun, us two, together. You and me. I oh, yes! <laughs> I cannot believe this is working right now. <laughs> I'm so happy you got my letter. Oh, it's so fantastic. And I'm, I'm so, so, so happy you to look have so you here. Look at your dress. Look at... Oh, I'm... I'm so happy to have you. We have some students that they're, they're just having so much issues. Oh my gosh. Oh, like well, I... I am so good at teaching. So good. I know. I've heard so much. Oh, I didn't know my reputation stretched to this far east. And we're gonna end it there. <laughs>